Important before we start any kind of electrical work, if we're working on a live circuit, that we isolate the circuit. Clearly, we have to carry out the correct procedure. Wherever you go, whatever kind of electrical course you're going to be on, you're going to be asked to carry out this procedure. You need certain equipment, of course. You need to use the right type of equipment. You need proving units, signs, padlocks, lock-offs, and voltage indicators. What we're going to do now is just run through the isolation process for this socket outlet here. First of all, a lot of people don't mention this in, in their uh, list, but really we need to make sure it's live before we can isolate it. There'd be little point in trying to isolate something that we didn't know was working. For safe isolation, you need to use an approved voltage indicator, which is to GS38. There's no switches on it, so I can't make a mistake. Whatever I do, this is either going to work or it's not going to work. So first thing first, let's make sure this is live. So I'm going to test between line and neutral, between line and earth, and then between neutral and earth where there should be no current at all. So I know that's live. To make life a bit easier, I've got a piece of equipment which actually sends a signal. If I plug this in, when I go to the distribution board, I'll be able to wave my wand over the protective devices and this will tell me exactly which protective device is protecting this socket. We're at the distribution board now. Before we do anything, I must impress on you that you must have available the right type of equipment. You've got to have lock-offs. All of these circuit breakers, you can get universal ones, but it's nice to have a selection. It's vital that when you work on something, you lock it off Make sure that everybody around knows that it's locked off by sticking a label on it and you keep hold of the key to the padlock yourself. So, this will identify which protective device I need to isolate. And you can see quite clearly that when I get to that one, all the lights come on and it makes quite a sound. The only thing I can do at this point is switch it off, use a lock off, they all work in, in a similar manner, but you've got to get used to your own. Use a padlock. Lock it off, take the key out, put the key in your pocket so that nobody else can get to it. What we need to do is to go back to the socket, which was supposed to be isolating, and just check that it's isolated safely. We're back at the socket outlet now. I need to use my approved voltage indicator to just check that it is indeed dead and I have locked off correct protective device. So I need to test between line and neutral. It should be dead. Line and earth, and again, dead. And between neutral and earth, and again, it's dead. Of course, I couldn't really start working on that immediately because I've no idea that this is working. So what I should do is really test this on a known supply. Eventually it's going to stop working. It could be at this moment. So if I've got a known supply or I can use a proving unit, I really just need to push that in like so. And we see it lights up. So I'm quite comfortable that this is working. 